coming and uh, spending the night with us. It's been a long day and a long night. Uh, the police have illegally gained entry into Mr. Jimmy Wanjigi's home. They've conducted a search without a search warrant. They've confiscated phones and iPads that belong to the family members who are in the home, including his uh, mother, who is mourning her late husband, his wife, and his two children. They've taken their phones and their iPads. They've uh, also taken uh, in, in internal communication gadgets which are used in the home. The search is comprehensive. They've not planted anything, at least in this home. Uh, there's nothing that they found that can imply that our client in any way is culpable for anything. But I must stress that this is part of political intimidation and harassment because of the stance that uh, Jimmy Wanjigi has taken in support of the Gen Z uh, demonstrations. And that support is a support that the right to demonstrate and to picket is in our constitution. Nobody has donated it to us. It belongs to all Kenyans. And any I must stress that there was no court order that warranted the search of the home. There was no basis to even interfere with his family members who have nothing to begin with to do with whatever issues that William Ruto and his people may have with Mr. Wanjiki. Mr. Wanjiki is innocent, his family members are innocent, and they need not to be subjected to this kind of harassment and intimidation. We shall reject this. And for good measure, let me say this. <clears throat> nothing will stop Mr. Wanjigi from pursuing his political rights. And nothing will stop the people of Kenya from pursuing that which they believe is politically correct. Even if they send policemen. It seems it's now becoming a habit in this country that every failing regime, when they have no answer to the problems of governance, number 44 becomes their place to seek solace try to intimidate this family and to harass them with heavy police presence, break doors, break items, and they've broken so many doors in the house. They've broken expensive uh, items, including expensive vases and uh, house decorations. But that will not deter. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance, and we will not in any way relent in our quest for a better Kenya. Thank you very much. Maybe, Wakili, uh, you tell us something? No, just to reiterate what Willis has said, that uh, the policemen came here without a search warrant and without an order. To, uh, and uh, they gainfully entered the compound of Mr. Anjiki without any court order. And what we have been taken through from the time we have been here, um, around 4 p.m., now it's around uh, 3.30 a.m. in the morning, is really an unfortunate. Um, harassing the family members, uh, going through all the rooms, um, removing clothes. I don't know what they were search, uh, searching for. All because Jimmy Wanjigi today, or earlier in the day, went out to demonstrate as called out by the Gen Z's. So these are uh, illegal acts that we are going to challenge. And uh, by morning, you will be hearing from us more. Thank you. Uh, maybe because we we've seen uh, cctv footage is going around uh, but uh, on the way they were uh, breaking the doors and uh, how things were were done today uh, how is the family and and uh, how can you communicate about or what can you say about uh, their well-being uh, as i said uh, jimmy's mom uh, is at the moment staying with him and uh, she's just come back from burying her husband, the late Honorable Maina Wanjigi. And uh, she's not even finished the 40 days of mourning. Mm. And yet you see policemen coming to harass her, even to search her room. She has got nothing to do with Mr. Wanjigi's political stance. Mm. But they think it is appropriate to express this kind of act on an innocent widow. They have subjected Mrs. Wanjigi, they have subjected the children, minor and boy, to 
to untold pain. In fact, I must say this. When the police forcefully broke into the house, they assaulted the children of Mr. Wanjigi. They assaulted his wife, all because they are related to Mr. Wanjigi. They had nothing to do with this political stance. And I don't understand who, in their rightful mind, takes their battle to women and children. If you want to fight a man, fight like a man, fight with a fellow man. Don't take your battles to women and children, widows who are still mourning. They've been assaulted in this house, and I must say that. And uh, it is quite unfortunate. But one thing I must say is that Mr. Anjiki's family is strong. They've been through this before, and all this will come to pass. Uh, as I say, in every failing regime, comes to number 44, to seek solace. They will not get that solace. Their day with the destiny is coming, and the people of Kenya are watching. And the people of Kenya are documenting the kind of atrocities that they are committing to people. And it's not just Mr. Wanjiki. These atrocities are committed to all many Kenyans across the board. <coughs> this only happens that it has been recorded. But there are many Kenyans who are going through painful experiences at the hands of the rogue state. And it is quite unfortunate that a government that purports to respect the rule of law has decided to turn to become a hostile government to its own citizens. Those who may not be here today, but some have lost their lives. Over 200, almost 300 young people have been killed during these demonstrations. Many have been maimed. Some are still unaccounted for. And yet all they did was just to say we are expressing our Article 37 rights to peaceably and armed to demonstrate and just to carry the Kenyan flag. In fact, it was quite interesting that some of the items that they wanted to pick out pick from the home included a Kenyan flag. I mean, is it an illegal to have a flag in a home? And they've picked that flag as part of their evidence or whatever they want to do with it, we still don't know. But what I can say is that the Kenyan people will proudly carry their flag because this country belongs to all of us and we are proud of our nation. And that is why the people of Kenya are speaking up against an oppressive regime that has failed in providing the adequate governance required in this country. That voice of the people shall never be stifled. Even if they keep deploying to this home, even if they keep deploying to other Kenyans in their homes, even if they keep deploying to Kenyans on the streets, the people of Kenya shall not in any way stop agitating for that which is rightfully their heritage. Thank you. Uh, maybe perhaps the big question is, where is Jimmy Wanjik? Mr. Jimmy Wanjik is out as many walls. And as some people say, he walks in between the walls. Mr. Wanjik is safe, Mr. Wanjik is a prayerful man, and God is with him. He is so, with God. So that means that the the security that came, that you say that brought in, didn't manage to get uh, his whereabouts? They did not manage to get him because, mm -hmm. as I said, Jimmy Wanjigi is with God and mm -hmm. God loves him mm -hmm. and God has protected him even when he's at his home. God loves him and God loves the people of Kenya. And that is why this regime will continue to fail as mm -hmm. it is failing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Anyone with a question? Santé Nisar. Santé Nisar.